843, live shot this morning from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. Joining us this morning, Craig Weishart, to teach us about recycling. And I think we're going to have some surprising uh, things in store for us here. What can you recycle? What is the process of recycling? We're very curious about it after the holidays because there's uh, a big exchange of holiday gifts, mostly electronics, yeah? For sure. Everybody gets electronics over the holidays. And we've done some surveys. Uh, around 80% of British Columbians have some old electronics hanging around their house somewhere, the basement, the garage. So yeah, it's good to, to recycle those properly. And uh, yeah, when you talk about what you can recycle, you can see it all here on the table. It's pretty much in British Columbia, anything with a cord and a battery can be recycled. Which is a bit of a, a surprise to me because I always thought it had to have a little recycle symbol on it and a number or a letter, but that is not true at all. Not, not for electronics. It literally in BC, anything with a cord and a battery is, is recyclable. and. Uh, there's a program for that, and uh, we have 250 locations around the province where you can drop those things off, so it's so, uh, convenient and easy. Craig, let's imagine we've got a big, bad old daddy TV ah, like yes. this. They don't make them like this anymore. They certainly <laughs> don't, but a lot of us still have them in our homes, so sure. that can be recycled. Absolutely. In fact, we get probably about 50% of the weight we get are these old TVs, and it's because they're so heavy. I helped put this thing up on the on the counter yeah, here. Thank you for doing the effort <laughs> to bring it in. Weighs, this thing weighs like 40 kilos, and it's it's because this big old picture tube is all glass. And that's what gets recycled. And part of it, and, and the glass is leaded. And so there, that's actually part of the reason you don't want to you don't want to just throw it in the in the garbage is because you don't want the lead and the the mercury and the other elements in there to leach out. On the other side of that is also there's also the valuable metal materials in there. You can recycle the plastics. You take this cover off, that's recyclable. That glass I talked about is recyclable. The frame is probably steel or aluminum. That's recyclable. So almost everything in that television set is recyclable, and you can recover that and reuse the material. And so let's say we have that TV, and I'm bringing it in. Am I bringing it in purely for environment's sake or am I going to get some cash for that like I recycle a bottle? So this is uh, this is not like the deposit return so you don't get money back. Uh, we do collect a fee at the time of sale of new electronics to pay for the cost of collecting and recycling these. So while there's valuable materials to gain out of these, the net is, a, is actually a cost to make sure that it's properly recycled. So uh, um, that's the, the key thing is you are really doing it for the environment. Wonderful. So when we take things like this in to get recycled, can you just for curiosity's sake, take us through what exactly happens? Sure. So as I said, we have 250 locations across the province. You bring those back. We collect those, consolidate those, ship them in truckload, and then uh, uh, those are recycled uh, uh, at a number of our uh, uh, recycling locations around the country. Uh, we've got actually two right here in the lower mainland and three in British Columbia. And they break these things down. This, uh, this old TV set right here, um, you would take the plastic cover off of it. You would uh, take the circuit boards and such out. Those would go to one place. The aluminum and, uh, and copper wiring, that all goes for uh, 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 metals recovery. And uh, the glass is, uh, is recycled as well. So all of that stuff is taken, disassembled. Um, and then sent downstream, recycled, and put back into the supply chain, used to make new material. I, think, I know this is still not the point of this segment. It's about recycling. But I'm thinking that is a great job for people like my brother, who growing up loved to take things oh, apart yeah. and put yeah. it back together. <laughs> so that's a manual process in the facilities it is. then. There's, it's a mixture, because there's uh, things like this television set have to be manually disassembled. Even the new flat screens, because they have mercury bulbs that backlight the screen. Would and you be so recycling a flat screen at this point already? You'd be surprised. Yeah, wow. there, there's some of the, I mean, flat screens have now been around for, what, eight or ten years. So we're, we are starting to see some of the old, the, the older flat screens come through. And, you know, there's so many different electronics that we have in our home. What if it's not quite ready to be recycled and it's more so ready maybe for Craigslist or the ability to resell it to use some cash to buy new electronics? And that is absolutely the first thing you should do. It, you okay. should always look and see if there's life left in the electronics. And if there are, find a good outlet for it. Craigslist is a good one. One. Um, I had an old iPad that uh, really was not functional for me anymore, but I gave it to my grandson. And he just thinks it's the greatest thing uh, since sliced bread. So you can give it to somebody in your family. Businesses more so if you've got uh, uh, a, a number of fairly new computers. Uh, an organization like Computers for Schools is a really good option. 
those folks take those computers, refurbish them, and then uh, uh, distribute them to uh, to schools in the uh, in the uh, BC area. That's great. That's great. You get such a good feeling out of it because I know sure. you know when we've got these old electronics on our hands, it does feel like a weight. So thank you so much for educating us on the recycling process. All the best with your old electronics and having fun with the new ones. Breakfast Television continues.